What's going on, man? We back at it at the realization, man. Spam up that like button if you want more. Come on, man. Show some support for your boy, man. For the rat, if y'all want some more, man. Let's get right back into the realization, man. So who is this bit? Who is this little bit? It didn't work. What didn't work? What are you talking about? Again. And it's getting worse every time. What's getting worse? Come on, someone. <laughs> it's the fact that they named her someone. They couldn't just give us the name. It would be great if my body could digest alcohol the same way that it digests these pills. What pills you on? You on the Zannies? You on the bars, girl? The perks? Or I might think that. Who the hell? Who hitting their phone up? Somebody hitting your phone up? Fine. Pick up the phone. That's easy, Ezekiel. Hello? Sydney. Hey, hi. It's Ezekiel. I called you about the apartment a couple of days ago. I... I told you that my friend might be interested. And when he arrives, he'll probably want to take a look at the apartment. So basically, today is the day. Yeah. Well, here we go. Let's pretend that I remember everything in the world. All right, so her name is Sydney. So I guess we're going to find out about Sydney since she has her own narration. Again. Yes, of course I remember. Did something happen? Well, kind of. I wanted to ask if the offer is still valid. You what? Bray. So Bray is like, yo, so you mean to tell me you ain't get this situated off, Rip? You had me come to hell's kitchen I, I don't know what it, i forgot what it's called but you had me come to this place without even solidifying my spot i'll be mad too personally oh apartment right yeah yeah sure the apartment is still vacant and the rent is still half price for a month everything is still as it is everything is still as it was discussed cool we're on our way you what is something wrong no no it's fine how close they're right out the door well give or take 15 minutes what see you soon sydney all right i need to clean myself up you're pathetic. What, she wouldn't sleep with her contacts in? You need to perk up and get into the right mood, girl. Yeah, get yourself together. You got company coming over. Ezekiel, for the life of me, I don't remember him. Rents an apartment for a friend? Well, before I draw any conclusions, I need to look at this quote-unquote friend. And then we'll see. Ah, sorry, I think I forgot my wallet, old boy says. Dad, dad, is, that, is this my new mom? Yeah, I don't know what I expected. It's a dump. Okay, this must be all the people that came to apartment to try to see if they can um rent it out. Ha, huh, is this a video? Take a picture. Or this is 20 or 27th roommate? And why is my internet not working here? I see the two stick thingies. There should be four of them, right? Why doesn't it work? We will live here happily ever after. I'm so glad. Man, you can see this? Not this, but thighs? Dude, what? Mom, are we really going to live here now? Yes, son. But only if your dad doesn't lose all the money playing cards. Where am I? Can I ride a bike here? I'm inside. What's next? I don't have any cash. Can I pay you back some other way? What do you think, honey? Well, I don't know. This landlady just has such an odd look. I feel uneasy. Hi, you finally come. Yeah, I guess I am. You're probably Ombre, the friend who needs an apartment. Nice to finally meet you. Same here, Sydney. And your pal got lost somewhere along the way. Well, it looks like we will have to start without him. Please come in, Bray. Let me come in here, man. Let me make myself at home. Take a look around. Hold on. Sydney, don't give me that look. It can go down in here, man. And don't be afraid to ask any questions. I will be happy to answer them. I already have some. What? This is tough. Easy. You are finally here. Come on, buddy. Hurry up and save everyone some time. I don't think this Friday is a good idea. Easy. Get off the phone, man. No, I'd love to. But is everything okay? Nothing that couldn't be considered normal. I don't get it. Listen, man. This is very important conversation. I'll join you as soon as I can. Who's there with you? Phone girl. No one. Oh, that must be his girl. His little shorty shorty. Then he dropped the phone. Well, thank you, Easy, for your typical help and also F you. Let's continue. I'm all for it. You said that you already have some questions. I, I sure do, Sydney. Just a few. Well, go on then. All right, where do I start? What about the lighting? How is the lighting? You see, Bray, the apartment is on the sunny side. And most of the time, the sun either shines straight through here or the light is reflected from the buildings across the street. So if you open the curtains even just a little, you can probably burn out your retina. But if you keep them closed and don't turn on the lights, well, then you'll probably risk bumping into something in the dark. Wow, you don't mess around at all. Why should I? It's not a bad deal for an apartment like this. Two floors, elite district. It's the ideal dream apartment for most people. What about the electricity bills? Yeah, what about them? 70% of the lamps in this house are energy savers. And if you'd like to know what eats the most electricity here, it's the fridge. Almost half of the light bill comes on this burly guy. So yes, to answer your question, the bills are quite acceptable. What about the couch? All right, you're asking all the wrong questions. Lighting, electricity bills, couch. You need a place to stay, bro. You came all this way. You need a place to stay. Ain't no asking these questions, man. You, you stay in here, bro. Oh, we just came out of the dry cleaners. I got rid of the packaging just before you arrived. It looks strange. I know. Any more questions? 
yeah, let me get to know about you, Sydney. Tell me about something. There's something that you're hiding. Why are you? Why have you went through all these tenants, all these roommates? 26, 27. Yo, that's too many roommates, bro. Why have you went through all these? Something we don't know about you that we're gonna find out sooner or later. I'll probably leave the most important one for last. But also, Bray is hiding something too. Bray is hiding something too. That's all for now. Thanks. Well, then, Bray, let's finish seeing the rest of the apartment. As I already said, the apartment has two floors, one big room on each floor. The first room is the one we are currently in. It's furnished and is the entrance hall. Living room and main room all in one. You can rearrange it if you like. The kitchen, as you can see, is an integral part of the main room. There's only the basic essentials in the fridge. The bathroom is shared behind that door. Let's go upstairs. Here's the second room. Is that my room or is that Sydney's room? Which, as you can see, is used as the bedroom. It's elegant, spacious, and very comfortable. Perhaps the only place in the apartment, with the exception of the bathroom, where there's no direct light from the sun. I decided not to tell the neighbors. So I think it would be the best if you introduce yourself to them when you get the chance. Damn, this is an awesome apartment you got here, Sydney. Yo, what's with the sofa? It's from the dry cleaners. See, I told you this apartment was going to be awesome, my boy. But everything might not be so smooth as it seems. What are you talking about, Sydney? Spill it. There's one thing I must warn you about. What can Sydney possibly warn us, man? What do you, you got to tell us? Something serious? Perhaps so. More serious than a shared bathroom? Many times more. Something to do with the rent is only half price? Yeah, about that. You're not the first person I'm telling this to. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, Sydney, spill it. And I'm tired of making excuses for it, so I'll just cut straight to the point, okay? All right, you're building. You, you, you got me in, invested now. You built up the tension. I'm ready for you to tell me this whole spill. Tell it to me. Spill it. Spill the beans, okay? The truth can be rather unpleasant to say to... All right, Sydney. All right, come on. I can handle it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I warned you. Yep, come, come on. The previous owner, what about? What about the previous owner? Died in this apartment. Okay, so you, you got some ghosts or something like that? All right, he died in the apartment. I mean, that's why it's half price. Is he haunting the apartment, though? Uh, kind of gloomy. That's it? It was a violent death. Oh, fuck. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Anything? No. Nothing? I think I can live with that. The last couple of people I told this to suddenly had urgent things to do after hearing about this. No, it's all right. I mean, where else can I find such a great apartment while paying only half the rent? Well, thank you, Bray. I don't know. It's it's still some something that we don't know about Sydney, man. Something that's really getting underneath my skin. I think I can't quite put a word to it, but I think something is is, is up with it. Why why why? Tell, I need I need to know the details of why the previous owner died. Or for saving me from this nightmare, you are the twenty seventh person who decided to see this apartment. Twenty seven, twenty seven, bro. And the only one with brains in his head. Thank you again. You won't regret this. Damn! Don't don't, don't touch my chest, Sydney. Rent is due every two months. Every two, oh, y'all swear, man. I wish rent was due every two months. I wish. Half the price on this? And maybe if you want. Not this again. <sighs> what do you mean, maybe if I want? Finish your sentence. Who's calling you? Bray, I have to go now. Can we discuss the rent and other stuff later? Wait, shouldn't we? The price is the same as before, exactly half. But, and you can even stay here for a couple of days to get used to the place. Is everything all right? I have a matter of life and death to deal with here. Okay, sure. Yeah, you should go. Handle that. Thank you. I really mean it. I really mean it. I'll call you, okay? You don't even have my number. Wait, <laughs> like, like, like Bray said, almost I have Ezekiel's number. A highly questionable achievement. And the laptop, let it stay here until we meet again, okay? Sure. If you have any questions or something urgent, call immediately. I will try to keep the phone close. Certainly. And, hey, what's with the curtains? Ah, I dare got my eyes. Yeah, there go your retina, boy. I'm fine. I'm fine. Totally fine. I look forward to our next meeting, Bray. Same here, Sydney. Well, bye. Goodbye, Sydney. Peace out. Well, it looks like I just got an apartment. It looks like you did. Congrats. This is a palace here. Let's check what's in the fridge. Go ahead. That man hopped over the sofa. I bet there's beer in there. I bet there ain't shit up in there. Beer? How long ago did beer become a basic essential? Sure enough, there's some beer in there. Well, that's rubbish. <laughs> I wish I could burp. I can't burp right now. Let me see if I'm no, back. Yo, what the fuck? Do you know what all the cool landlords mean when they say essentials? I don't know, food? No, beer and all sorts of small things like bacon, maybe mineral water. And this Sydney is clearly one of the cool ones. Yo, how do you even meet Sydney? Did you see the way she looked at you? How? How did she look? It's like she's been yearning for you since junior high. 
Stop talking nonsense, my boy. Anything other than beer in this fridge? Afraid of starving to death? Yeah, something like that. Come on, all we drank in college was beer. Did you forget already? We grown. And plus, I'm not allowed to drink. You mean, like at all? You won't even take a sip with an old friend? Hey, won't you take a sip? That leads to another sip. That leads to my own beer. That leads to me getting smashed, hammered. Exactly. Besides, it's shitty beer. Come on, you're exaggerating. I don't know what seat does. Oh, no, you're not. There's a box of this ish. Well, in that case, I'll leave it for those unfortunate people who decide to come and visit me. I owe you one, Ezekiel. This apartment is something else. Just relax, buddy. Would you do the same for me? Yes, probably. Have you found a job yet? Or do I have to push myself to the limit again and look for you? I haven't found a job. I was going to do it today. Need some help? Hey, if you got a plug, plug me in with a job, man. I don't need to be on Indeed looking for... No, I can handle that. I'm sure I could get you a job with Harry Lubricant at the strip club. Working at the strip club? No, I'd rather not. How about Friday? What about Friday? Let's get together, have a drink, and remember the old days. Yeah, he's a bad influence. Why are you trying to get me to drink? I just told you that I can't drink. <sighs> okay, you can cross out the whole booze thing. I don't know. Don't even think about saying no. I've been waiting for this moment for 12 long months. Seriously? No. <laughs> but still, you can just refuse. Why not? Because friends don't do that. We, we don't refuse. Not the right answer. What? Oh, you? All right. All expenses are on me. So you said Friday, huh? Friday, indeed. All right, now you're talking. You know, you almost haven't changed at all. And I was just beginning to hope that they'd send me a new Bray who couldn't drink, smoke, or force his friends to pay his way. All right, buddy. I won't bother you on the first day here. But get used to this place. Take a look around. Take a load off. Thank you, easy. And Bray, what? Welcome to Steelport. Thanks. Steelport. Will it work? There's only one way to find out. Yes, hello? I would like to rent a storage room. Is one available? Great. What size? I think the largest one you will have will just be fine. Hello? I'd like to update my address and information with you guys. It's about the transportation of my things. Bray de la Cruz? Yes, hi. Jacob, right? You, Jilla gave me your number. She said that if I needed to rent a car, I could call you. Oh, he, he putting it. He making some moves right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well, I get it. But I would like to clarify the price. How much will it cost me exactly? That man hung right up. <laughs> hi, I can't answer right now, so you know what to do. Beep. Hey, sis, I just wanted to say that your wayward brother has got an apartment. Listen for the address. Well, it turns out that starting a new life is quite easy. Not that I hope for. The opposite is just, where's Thea at? We haven't seen Thea in a minute, and I swear she's about to pop up soon. Everything turned out so well. Although, can I even call this a new life? I mean, Ezekiel, again, is by my side. Jilla also decided to buy an apartment in the city, so she will be a part of my life again. Though, it's been six years. Maybe she's not quite the Jilla I remembered. I don't know. It's just this feeling, the feeling that all my other old problems are about to come knocking on my door or buzzing my line. Well, or they don't decide to call me. Hello? Bray, it's good to hear from you. How was your trip? Look at Dr. Damien che checking up on his, on his old patient. Acceptable. Doesn't sound like that. Something happened? Look, Damien, I'm not really in the mood for another therapy session right now. It's already been a long day for me. If you have something to say, then please get to the point. Come on, Bray, there's no need to be rude. I'm just trying to establish a proper communication between us. Hey, Dr. Dame, that, that won't be necessary. I won't be needing, no longer needing your services. So how is the city? Be rude or let's be discreet. You know what I'm saying? Would you mind cutting the shit, D? All right, then. I'm calling about a certain book. I accidentally caught sight of it in the trash can. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> remember, remember he threw that in the, the book in the trash can before he left? It depends on how many of your patients you forced it onto. This week, it was only you. Well, in that case, that's definitely my book then. What was it doing in the trash can? You won't believe it, Doc. Bray, if you say that it's lying there, then this conversation will only drag on. Will she say to the point? No, we don't have plenty of time. Okay, fine. Of course, I'm grateful f to you, Doc. This book was a gift and all that stuff. But apart from mediocre reading and reminder that I had to stay with a shrink for a year, this book means nothing to me. So I threw it out as unnecessary. I perfectly understand you, Bray. And you're maybe even right about that, but I strongly recommend that you read it. Oh, well, since you strongly recommend it, then yes, of course, I'll make this my prime goal. Okay, I understand where this is all going. Let's try it this way, Bray. You try to read it, and I, in turn, I haven't come up with anything yet, but I'll also limit myself somehow. Let's say this, Doc. I'll try to read it, and you'll forget this number. I'll send you an electronic version by email. Great. Consider this the last and final part of your treatment. Bye. <sighs> Clean effing slate. Well, let's see what good old Damien wrote in this damn book. I think we need to read that. We need to read that book to see what's it. He really is pushing this book onto us. 
And in order for us to close this chapter with Dr. Dane, with Doc, you might as well just read this motherfucker. And since he will probably call again to see if I read it, I can only hope with all my might that there be at least something interesting in this damn book. Here it is, page 23. How to start life with a clean slate. To begin with, you need to understand, nope, nothing interesting. <laughs> my boy Bray got bored, bored of it quick. As for me, the answer to the question of how to start life with a clean slate is in three simple steps. Step one, find a place that you can call home. Here you go. Oh man, this is some heavy stuff. My God. All right, what are we looking around for? What we need? Where I'm gonna put all these boxes? All this shit on the floor? What we looking at? Oh, oh, painting. Where are we gonna move that? Oh, it just dropped on the floor. All right. Step two, find a job that I never would have decided to get in the first place. Oh, we got some nice ease. He actually cutting up some tomatoes. Got a Coca Cola pop diet. You know what I'm saying? We all that no sugar over here. Then we got a cup of coffee with some with some bread and cheese because we broke right now. We ain't got no food up in the fridge. We just got some beer. Oh, that was some good scrumptious. Well, of the 16 selected options, only three left. Let's see. We need a cleaner in the training hall. Own premises. Work only at night. The salary will be agreed upon on the spot. I've had to work at a worse jobs before, like Burger King. Sounds nice. I will have a lot of free time for myself, but I don't want to start my new life with something like this. Next one. What's the next one? What are we looking at, Bray? A record shop looking for a boy or girl who knows their music stuff. Mm, okay, that's that's kind of that's kind of piquing my interest. Desirable requirements, deep knowledge of music. Shit, Cherry will write that. Know who Bowie is. We know who Bowie is. Respect the vinyl. We do. I got a vinyl collection myself. You know, be a hard worker. You know, I'm a hard worker. Be a cute one. So I'm a uh, I'm a handsome dude. You know what I'm saying? What the f is this? Redact that. Be able to count quickly. One, two, three, four, five. A. Hey. Be able to work with clients. Hey, we were. Yeah, man. Hey, man. I'm not the most outspoken dude, but you know, I get along with people. Be able to get rid of clients. Oh yeah, we could definitely get them out of here. Be. Oh, I'm super chill. Be chill. I'm super chill. And come to work every day on weekends with a free schedule. Uh, come to every work every day and on weekends with a free schedule. Uh, yeah, you got me. You got me on there, man. Now, 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 I'm looking at different opportunities, different options. Peace. The fuck, Cherry redact all that ish. Okay, next one. All right, what's the next one looking like? Vacancy for a woman's magazine. We need a proofreader of 20 to 35 years old, blah, 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 who is fluent in at least three languages. All right, that, that cuts me out. Who is not afraid of a large amount of work and delays at work until I till late? The salary will be determined based on the results of the interview. These are terrible conditions, but I don't have any better options. So that means it's worth a try. You can speak three languages, right? Step three, come up with more steps. Fine, whatever you wrote in your shit book to begin with, you need to understand that you are not all powerful and be prepared for failures and disappointments. That's a, that's a good line, actually. You can actually take that. You are not perfect. You're not, you're not the almighty being. You gotta prepare yourself for disappointments and failures. You're not always gonna win. There's gonna be some losses. You gotta accept that and you gotta persevere. You gotta be resilient. Like to, uh, to uh, Greg Goggins, I think that's his name. Or uh, no, to David Goggins, he said, you got to build a callus in your mind. And you do. You got to do stuff that you don't want to do. You got to be prepared for failure. You got to fail. You got to love to fail in order to su succeed. <laughs> succeed is just such a hard word for me to say. I don't know why. But continue to do what you think is necessary in the first place. Ha, are you effing kidding me? I came to Steelport from Stillwater for permanent residence. I'm a workaholic. My positive qualities are... Ability to work in a team. I'm a I'm a great great teammate. I like to uplift others. Ability to work alone. I you can also call me a lone wolf. Very independent. Self starter. You feel me? Perseverance. Oh yeah, I get through the tough shit. Industriousness. Whatever that means. Ability to educate myself. Oh yeah, I use Google all the time. I read ton, a ton of books. Having my own point of view. Oh yeah, I got thoughts. Gold thoughts. You know, a gold mine of thoughts. Innovative. Ability to build connections with people. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Nice to meet you. My name is Ryan. My name is Bray de la Cruz. What do you do? You feel me? Also, I have knowledge of French, German, and Spanish language. Hola. Como estas? Uh, 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 oui, oui. Mes amis. Uh, German. Uh, I don't know any German. I'm gonna keep it as a stack with you. And also, yes, yes. And the ability to list your strong qualities. That sounds to me you want to know my weaknesses as well. With this list, you can continue until the evening. We have a lot of applicants besides you. So let's get straight to the point. All right. May I ask you a question? Shoot. Try to imagine that you are being involved in a conflict situation at work. 
what will you do? All right, so before I move on to his answer, I'm gonna try to move on to my answer. So if there's a conflict situation at work, what will you do? I'll try my best to be a A1 problem solver, all right? Remain calm. The first thing you gotta do is remain calm. Don't retaliate. Don't work off emotion. Don't react off emotion. The best thing you do is to realize there is a conflict. How are we gonna resolve this conflict? How are we gonna move past this conflict? And how are we gonna come to an agreement? That's my answer, you know what I'm saying? How you like that, man? What was your, what will be your answer? Drop down in the comments section below will be answered how you, you would deal with conflict situation at work have you ever did with me uh i don't even think i dealt with like a, a drastic conflict you know what i'm saying maybe something like oh you ain't get your work done and i had to do your shit basically you know what i'm saying but i would have to communicate that with the person what do you mean i yeah 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 beat motherfuckers up that's what you did ray i've worked in many places and i never met that type of problem before so you gotta just you gotta make up a story you gotta come up with something hypothetically speaking try to imagine please don't well i will get away from the conflict that's bad uh, that's a bad answer but what if you get punched i will not punch back well i understand that after all we mostly employ women and yet if such a situation happens what will you do do you have fights between women no it's just that you're a man and i need to know if i can trust you what should you do hmm. i think we gotta tell her tell her who she's dealing with uh, i want to see what this says fight fuck, fuck man and you understand the consequence of that, right? Right, that was a bad idea. You've been thinking about the answer for a minute. Sorry, what was the question? Can I trust you, Mr. De La Cruz, despite the fact that you are a man? Of course you can. Brilliant, Mr. De La Cruz. You passed this interview. I don't know what I did. I just pressed it. I don't know how you didn't feel me. I ask that you come in tomorrow at 8 a.m. to introduce yourself to your immediate superiors. Are you fine with that? Sure. Oh, and one more thing. What's that? And then I was met by a long and not so pleasant clarification of my salary, working days, and a huge amount of completely unnecessary information that flew out of my head just as soon as they get, got into it. So the evening came. Emerald Bay Elephant. I didn't know that there was a coffee shop so close to home. Well, Bray, it's time to fulfill the point of being open to new things. Besides, one cup of coffee won't hurt. Hmm, it's not bad here. Damn, look at this. I mean, if you have a kid, you should stop being a bitch about it. Yes. This is exactly what I said. And she almost slapped me. Can you imagine? Be strong. You're her best friend after all. You'll figure it out. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'll see you soon, T. Should I put this on your account too? If it's not too much bother up for you. Sid, don't be, hello there. Don't look at me like that. You know what I'm saying? I take them overalls right in, right. Hey, first time here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a local. You sure don't look like one of the locals. Can I get you something? Sure, what do you have? Oh, man, it's easy to ask what we don't have. <laughs> okay, what don't you have? Alcohol and strawberry tarts. <laughs> the second one of those two, the second one of the two is just about finished. Can I just have a simple basic coffee? Sure, no problem. Call me if you want to order something else. Sure. Large as a Viking and friendly as a teddy bear. Nice place. Buddy in the back, enjoying it. Effing creep. My man came up like... <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at oh who me i just uh i was thinking which cake looks more attractive <laughs> that one on the plate what she like what leave me alone creep i bet you're a lover of cake am i right because i too am a real connoisseur you can say i declare that your cake looks effing delicious and what face you have yum F off. Wow, what a dirty mouth you have. I like that. I think we could find a better use for it. Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Oh, I get it. Do you like being dominant? Whoa, hold on, bruh. Listen, Scarecrow, F off. Uh, yeah. I had no idea that you had such a dirty mouth. Hey, buddy, here's another idea for you. How about you get the F out of here? My, my, here we go, a superhero. Look who we got here, a big, brave, white effing knight. What are you gonna do? Hit me in the middle of a coffee shop? Come on, then. Hit me. But as soon as the cops get here, and they will, I'll tell them that you attacked me. And then I'll point to your mangled body and say that I was only just defending myself. Wow. Now that's, that's a great line. I'm sure it scares the scum you hang out with. But you see here, you made one mistake, which is you hurt my ego. So what are you going to do if I, let's say, decide to knock you out, knock out your kneecap? Ha, chill, man. I was just messing around. It's weird how touchy everyone is these days. All right, that's enough. Relax. The conflict is settled. Get out of here or I'll throw you out myself. All right, all right, man. All right, chill. Jeez. I'll meet you again. Oh, we got to remember that. I'll meet you again. 
when somebody says that especially in one of these visual novels or any game you're going to see them again and plus stillport seems like a like a small ass town that everybody know each other be sure yeah we're gonna see him again thanks tit his name is tit happy to help and thank you too i guess it's one of the famous locals effing piece of ish what the f why are you f looking at him catch up with him smash his punk effing face on the curb that must be theater talking stop exhale get distracted Shit, she kind of fine angle. so yes thank you it's nothing hey listen can i buy you some coffee okay cool i'm sure it won't hurt T two lattes please okay tammy tammy huh her name tammy i got on tammy yes that's a pretty name thanks i guess and you bray nice to meet you bray can you get us a table in the meantime maybe i'll order something to eat some cake certainly not now sit down man oh my neck hurt almost lost it just like that i'll have to discuss this with damien later oh okay okay it's the fact that he was able to breathe be in tune with his emotions and it and stop himself from reacting and then the fact that he said i'm gonna have to discuss this with damien later later that says a lot for bray i need to distract myself get distracted yo whoever been drawing it man whoa, 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 whoa. let's not just go pack the is that Thea in the back? You see, is that Thea? Come on now. Uh, salute. What you doing, pretty boy? Nothing. You're our new neighbor, right? I've seen you in the lobby a couple of times. Is this seat taken? No. No, you're not our new neighbor? Or no, it's taken. Never heard that one before. No, it's not occupied. Sit, sit down, shorty. Great. So you're not even going to ask how I managed to change my clothes or what happened to my hair? Is this Tammy? Well, I've lived on this earth for longer than a year. I'm pretty sure I've seen twins before. Wow, this is actually something unexpected. Most people find it their duty to say something like, oh my God, twins? How adorable. Or something like, hey, why don't you both wear the same clothes and hairstyle? Then you'll have time in two places at once. The second one doesn't make any sense at all. It's like people got half their brains blown off and forget that life isn't a sitcom. Nonsense, right? Tamika, stop bothering him. Okay, okay, one got short hair, one got the long. Here's your coffee, Bray. Thank you, Tammy. Tammy and Tamika. Bray. Ha! <laughs> what do you mean, ha? Huh? Well, you definitely look like a Bray. What does that mean? I know he looked like a Bray. I named him Bray. <laughs> hey, classic Bray. Right, Tammy? Tamika, stop it. What? I didn't mean anything by it. How do you like your coffee, Bray? Oh, well, see, pretty good. The barista clearly knows what he's doing. Yes, Tit tries to keep the quality level very high around here. That Viking behind the counter? Yes, this Viking lookalike is also the owner of this place. Hmm, do you think he won in the home gang? What is home gang? The Viking duel. Her sister like, man, why am I her twin? <laughs> How can you call someone a Viking without knowing the simple basics? Tamika, let him drink his coffee in peace. Jeez, fine. Thanks. You, you're welcome. What should I do? Let's keep the conversation going, man. Let's keep it going. And as I see it, he's the only employee here. Oh, no, there are still a couple of assistants, but they mostly work on delivery. On the delivery of coffee, they deliver coffee. In the conversation about what the coffee shop employees deliver, you need to specify that they deliver coffee. Mm-hmm. Not weed. No, I get that part. Tamika, please, I'm begging you. Sorry. Let's keep this conversation going, man. Do you come here often? We do, Bray. Almost every day. Wow. You will most likely also start coming here regularly. The coffee here is way too good and way too cheap. Maybe we'll see. If y'all gonna be here. If y'all gonna be here, man. Yeah, I'm coming. So what are you into, Bray? I'm into the both of y'all. No, I'm playing. What do you mean? What is your hobby? Where do you work? Oh, well, today I got a job at a woman's magazine. A woman's magazine, really? Yeah, do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. Any hobbies? I have my own music group. Back in the days, I had my own music group, yeah. You mean like a rock band? Well, I wouldn't call what we played rock, but you're mostly right. Damn it, Tammy, look at that. There's a rock star sitting in front of us. Speaking of that, I need to get, do, do y'all want me to get back on become a rock star? Do I need to start finishing that? I need to go back and watch the previous videos because I forgot what's going on. I even forgot the name of the characters. I'm not rock, but you know what? Whatever. Did you, did your band have a name? Maybe it's someone I know. Of course we had a name, but I don't think you've heard of us. We were called, we were called, oh, uh, let's see. We were called The Fortune. As I see, uh, 
a fortune cookie from Panda Express sitting on my, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna call them the fortune. We were called the fortune. Really? What's wrong? Nothing. It's a cool band name, Bray. It suits you very well. I take it you don't play anymore. Yeah, the band broke up. Because of what? The equipment we needed to continue started costing more and more and everything just became too expensive. Plus, our interests in other things were increasingly voraciously. And we consistently earned very little doing gigs. As a result, it was decided that we disband the group and go our separate ways. Sorry to hear that. No, it's all right. It was near the end of college. So everyone finally had time to go about their business, study, and focus on other things. Did you graduate from college, Bray? The best graduate student of my class is sitting right in front of you. You feel me? The best graduate. Talk your ish, Bray. Well, one of the best. I'll drink to that, poser. <laughs> Are you an athlete, Tammy? Yes. What gave me away? You have a very toned figure. Or he's not blind and sees you gy your gym trunks. Ring the alarm, little sister. He's, starting, he's staring at your cakes. Is that a compliment, Bray? Yes, if I may. I'll let you. Well, wow, look at you. All this dirty flirting has given me a, an appetite. I'll go order something. Why she look back like that? Does she always behave like this or only as, on special occasions? Always. Ouch, you have an un, unenviable fate. Ha, don't say that, Bray. Behind all this layer of arrogance and malice is the kindest and sweetest girl I know. Well, you would know her best. After all, you are twins. Hey, we're we going to keep getting some more information, some more details out of these characters as we can. Hey, just curious. Why didn't you tell her? About what? About what happened just 10 minutes ago. My God, Bray, this isn't the first time this has happened to me, and I'm afraid it won't be the last. If I start taking things like that to heart or live in a constant fear every time something similar happens to me, then most likely I'll go off the rails. There is no need to comfort me. I especially don't want Tamika finding out. So you're not going to tell her about it? At all? I shouldn't have asked. Damn, I should have just drunk my coffee. Bray, you may have already noticed that my sister, she, kooky, egocentric? <laughs> Rather very impressionable. So if the event that happened 10 minutes ago is unlikely to spoil my mood, it will probably ruin all her week. You know what I mean. Yeah, even better than you think. Step aside. What is that? A muffin. Titus said that you were staring at this muffin with the same appetite as that freak was staring at your ass. What? What? Oh, come on. We've been coming here now for two months to a row. Two months to a row. I don't know. Did that plate just move? Hold on, bro. Did that cupcake plate just move? It sure did. Titus reports to me about everything that concerns you. And what exactly did he say? He said that your cowboy here stood up for you and almost started a fight. Well, now I understand why I feel this sexual tension in there. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you a couple of minutes so that you have a little time to exchange fluids. Just don't take too long. We're already at risk of being late. I'll wait outside. But you better hurry. Bye, Bray. It was nice to meet you and stuff. Hey, what about the muffin? He's not for you. I'm sorry about her. No hard feelings. Look, Bray, I have to go as well. It's fine. I understand. I'll see you later. Straight. Yes. Of course. How about tomorrow? At the same time. Yeah. I can't. I have my new job I have to report to. Maybe on Friday? On Friday, I need to help a friend solve some of his problems. She seems to really want it. But do I really want to be... What? Yes, yes, I want to, yes, man, what? Are you free on Sunday? No, not really. A, have some home, I have some home things I have to do. Well, that's it. We have exchanged pleasantries and we can go our separate ways. Can I have your number? Sure. What's that? A business card. My number. On a business card? You're an advertising manager or something like that? No, but where I used to work, they were giving these out to employees in huge quantities. I still have a lot of them. And this is a very good opportunity to use them. As I understand, it doesn't make the best impression. No, not at all. But I'll take it, Bray. See you. Yeah, see you. Why does he always make that look, bro? This character is, is fucking with me, bro. I swear to God. See, yeah, see you. Like, it looks not genuine at all. Like, that face right there? Come on now, bro. He looking like... Is he is he giving me this, the uh, the nod the nod of approval? She didn't pay for the muffin. She did not. <laughs> right, right. We're broke, man. Page thirty two. What to do if everything around you is trying to go wrong? An anger adjustment for dummies. The secret of happiness is to be in your thoughts, exactly in the place where you are right now. Then you can notice a lot of pleasant and wonderful things. What nonsense! No, Chloe. I said no. Don't you dare yell at me. Oh, God, what's going on now? 
Of course, Sydney had forgotten to mention these wonderful cardboard walls. Can you shut up for at least five minutes? Is there a solution in your little book for this kind of problem, Doc? Go to hell. I doubt it. The door slams. The neighbors are decent people, they said. It's already 2 a.m.? It's about to be 3 a.m. here, man. Are you effing kidding me? We're not done yet. Oh my god, kill yourself against the wall, both of you. You. Noise stops. Did they hear me? Ouch, that was ugly. However, it's, if that's what it takes for me to get my restful sleep, then so be it. Well, Doc, I definitely try to read your book next time. Until then, lie down somewhere. Stop asking me why. I don't effing know why. why. All right, if I need to choose between two evils, what should I do? Should I call Sydney, drown out the screams with music? What should I do?